Hey, good morning everybody. This is Dan with Ledger Support. In this video, I am going to show you how to withdraw coins from the Coinbase exchange to your Ledger wallet. Let's do it. So what I'm going to do today is withdraw some Polygon Matic coins to my Ledger wallet with my Ledger Nano S Plus. But the steps are pretty much the same regardless of the cryptocurrency and also regardless of if you're using a Ledger Nano X, Ledger Nano S Plus or a Stacks. All right, so let's start. The first thing I want is to add a Polygon account to Ledger Live. I'll need my Ledger device for it. So I'm going to click Add Account, select uh, oop, Polygon, continue. Um, now here, Ledger Live is helping me install the Polygon app onto my Ledger device. Just please be careful with the terminology here. An account and an app are different. The app is on your device, the account is just in Ledger Live. Okay, now I'm going to use both buttons at the same time to open the Polygon app. And a Ledger Live will help me create a Polygon account. In my case, I already have a Polygon account, so there is a little balance in it. In your case, the account will be empty, of course. Um, but yes, and by the way, you can create uh, as many accounts as you want. You just have to make sure that you send a little bit of coins to the existing account if you want to add a new account on top of that. So here's my Polygon account. I'm going to rename it, but it's perfectly fine for you if you want to keep the default name. I just like to rename my account. I'm going to click account and done. Now I want to use this account to create a deposit address and I'll use this deposit address to send coins from Coinbase to my Ledger wallet. So I'm going to go fetch my Polygon account here and I'm going to click the receive button here. Make sure you use the receive button when you receive coins. Don't get your um, account address from the transaction history because um, you might fall victim of a scam called address poisoning. We have a video on address poisoning, but basically the gist is scammers might send you some coins from an address that might look very, very similar to yours in order to poison your transaction history. So they hope that you will copy paste their address uh, by mistake and send them funds. Okay, so it's always safer to use the receive and send buttons when sending and receiving coins to your ledger wallet. Okay, that being said, I'm going to use the receive button. Um, yep, so my Polygon account is selected. I'm going to click continue. And here's my address. So I'm going to copy it. Uh, you also want to make sure to verify um, the address on your screen. Make sure to verify every single character. Again, um, there's been instances of scams where um, you know people would send to the wrong address or they would copy paste the wrong address. So you really want to make sure to verify each single character in the address, not just the first four and last four. In my case, it looks pretty good. Um, yep, so I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to use both buttons here to approve the address. If I need the address again, let's say for example, I forget to uh, copy paste the address, then I'm going to click re-verify and I get the address again to copy. Okay, well, next, now I've logged into my Coinbase account and I'm going to move this uh, Polygon balance here and send it to my Ledger wallet. I'm going to click send and receive here and select Polygon. I'm going to send everything. And here I want to use the address that I got from Ledger Live. So I'm going to copy paste that in. Note, I don't really need to put anything here. So I can click continue. Okay, now here's a very, very important step. Uh, the address is correct. You can see the coin is correct, but the network is not correct. So it's very, very important that you select the correct network because if I were to not change anything here and send to the default network, which is Ethereum, my coins will actually go into the wrong account. It will go into my Ledger Ethereum account instead of my Ledger Polygon account. So if you ever withdraw coin from Coinbase or an exchange and then the coins went to the wrong wallet, that's probably what happened to you there. So yeah, I want to make sure to select the correct network. So in my case, um, I'm going to select the Polygon network. 
See, it's, it's warning me here, sending crypto over the wrong network will mean losing your funds. It's not true, actually, if you send your coins to the wrong network, but your ledger address is correct, then you can still get the coins back, but it's just a lot of extra steps to get the coins. So you just wanna be careful. Um, I'm gonna leave this warning here, uh, just in case, so I can be reminded in the future. Um, and then I'm going to click understand. It tells me the payment will be received in less than 10 minutes. I hope so. Network fee, this is normal exchanges. They will take a little bit of your coins to uh, pay for the fee to move the coins from their wallet to your wallet. And here's the total. Okay, so I'm going to click send now. And that's it. So I've sent my Matic. Uh, I can click here to see the transaction. Um, so I wanna click view on Block Explorer here. And you can see, uh, so this is Polygon Scan. Polygon Scan is basically the Polygon blockchain, but um, in a way that makes it easy for us humans to understand. Um, so Polygon Scan is telling you the truth of, of blockchain. Ledger Drive sometimes has sync issues, Coinbase might have sync issues, but in doubt, always look at Block Explorers when you wanna know the actual state of a transaction. You can see here uh, the status is success. So my transaction was actually sent from Coinbase. You can see my ledger address here. And uh, this is Coinbase on wallet. You can see the, the fee that I paid and the amount of Matic that will receive in my ledger account. Okay, now let's check in Ledger Live. See my uh, deposit has arrived. I'm going to get this out of the way. So I'm going to approve the address. Um, so let me see. So it looks like my polygon hasn't arrived yet. Oh, okay, never mind. It's here. So, yep, you see it's been deposited into my ledger polygon account. It's all good. So, in my case, my withdrawal was pretty uneventful. Really good user experience here. Um, there are situations where, as I said before, you would uh, use the correct address, but you would send to the wrong network. Uh, in this case, you might see your coins in the a different accounts in Ledger Live. So for example, your Ethereum account, uh, but sometimes you might not see the coins at all if you don't have that account in Ledger Live or if the, the account type is not supported in Ledger Live. In which case, you can usually, if it's an EVM chain, so an Ethereum compatible chain, you can usually access those accounts that are not supported in Ledger Live with MetaMask. But yeah, it's just a lot of extra work. So you just wanna make sure to always, always, always verify the correct, that the network that you choose is correct before you send your coins. If you're not sure which network to choose, then it's probably better that you read this article from the Help Center. So you go to support.ledger.com and read this article called Sending from an Exchange, Choose the Right Network. This article will teach you um, how to choose the correct network when you do withdrawal from an exchange. Um, and how to troubleshoot if you uh, chose the wrong network. Again, not catastrophic. You can get the coins back, but it's just a lot of extra work, so be careful. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. Um, if you wanna reach out to us directly, you can also go to our help center, so support.ledger.com. That's support.ledger.com. Be careful, uh, beware of fake ledger apps and websites, they exist. So again, support.ledger.com, you should probably bookmark this URL. Um, on the, the website, you can just click the contact us button here and then start a new conversation with the bot. Then you'll be put in touch with a live agent um, or you can send us an email. If you do send us an email, just please explain your issue in as many details as you can. It's easier for us to get back to you quickly and solve your issue. That being said, thank you very much. I wish you a good week ahead and I'll see you next week for the next video. Bye.